everyone, it's Pat from Pat Dev Music and today we're having a really quick look at understanding different time signatures. It's very, very easy to understand so everyone's going to get it but if you don't, in the description below there is a link to the grade 1 playlist and just go back there and you'll find more videos that do go into more detail. This is just a very quick run through to get you guys to start playing more and writing more songs in different time signatures. So we've been spending a lot of time in 4-4 or common time, okay? Now what it actually means, the bottom number says what sort of note division it is and the top number says how many notes in that bar, okay? That's one way to think of it. So let's go through an example, okay, of 4-4. Four, four. So 4-4 four, four is stating, okay, the type of beats is a crotchet and there's four crotchets in that bar. So if you heard, let's just say, one chord, like a G major, okay, and you were counting one, two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, four, that's all that there would be, because it'd be four crotchets, and I just played four crotchets worth in a normal bar of four, four, it would look like this, okay, but let's say we change time signatures, and we go on to three, four, okay, then what that means is, it's still dividable by the crotchets, but there's only three this time, okay? So if we have a bar of three, four, okay, it would sound like this. One, two, three, with your foot there. One, two, three, okay? So this is all starting to make sense now, okay? And if you had two, four, what that would mean is you could only have two crotchets in that bar, okay? So it would go like this. One, two, one, two if you were playing crotchets. Now, if you did want to play other sort of note values, of course you can play them in, in different time signatures. It's just that's how the, the bars are divided up, okay? So let's say that you wanted to play a semi-brief, okay, which normally lasts four beats. One, two, three, four, okay? If you want to play that, okay, this is how it would look in four, four. But this is how it would look in 3-4, see? It's two bars now, because it has to carry on over, because it's worth four. So this is how it would sound. One, two, three, one. Okay, and then you'd play whatever's next, or you'd have a pause, but it would go from one bar over to the next bar, okay? It's really important that that makes sense, because a semi-brief is a whole note, and it's worth four counts. So in 3-4, we can't have four counts in one bar, so it goes over, okay? So just like if you had, let's say, you're in three, four again, and you had two minims, okay? It would look like this, okay? It would go over the bar. It wouldn't look like two minims in normal four, four, like this. One, two, three, four, okay? It would actually go over the bar. But that's it guys, I just wanted to have a really quick talk on 4-4, four, 3-4 four, four, and 2-4. We're going to get into some really crazy time signatures later on, but this is just to help you understand and really to help you start writing and start learning tunes in other time signatures. Well done for making it to the end. If you like the effort that I put in, definitely like this video. Did you have fun? Do you want to learn more? Comment below and let me know guys, but otherwise I'll see you again. Bye.